What is going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So this is a little change of pace. Usually we're documenting our journey of uh, starting out crypto mining. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I have started kind of a uh, series documenting my steps through building my first crypto miner and uh, how that's going. So if you guys haven't checked it out, please go ahead and check out that series. I'll put a link directly below on that first video. So today we're going to go over in 10 minutes exactly how to set up and mine Ethereum on Windows 10 with some of the new gaming graphics cards. So if your computer is idle when you're at work or you're at school and you have a decent eight gigabyte uh, or higher graphics card, this will work phenomenally for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So your first step is to set up a crypto wallet. For all intensive purposes, I use Exodus. I'm going to recommend Exodus. It's very simple and easy to use. Uh, I'd recommend you pause the video here in just a second, click download in the top right hand corner, download the program, you set it up with a really um, secure password, as well as it provides you secure phrases. Go ahead and write those down. Please do not forget them. Lock them up in your safe. Do whatever you need to do to remember them. And then circle back here and unpause the video in just a second. So go ahead and pause the video and set up Exodus and your wallet in three, two, and one. Okay, so once your wallet is set up and you're in Exodus, you're just going to go to the top right hand corner um, to where it says wallet in the middle here with the little wallet symbol. You're going to go ahead and find Ethereum and you're going to click receive. So go ahead and write this down. We're going to go ahead and copy this. This is your Ethereum address. And what I recommend you do is just go ahead and bring up Notepad and paste it right here in Notepad. OK, so once you've gone ahead and have done that, um, our next step is to go ahead and download T-Rex Miner. So I'm using T-Rex Miner because of the fact that I am running an EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super XC. Um, so the fact that this is an NVIDIA card, um, there are different miners out there based off of if it's NVIDIA or if it's AMD. Uh, the same process works for them. For NVIDIA, I recommend T-Rex Miner. If you're running on uh, AMD, I recommend that you grab uh, Team Red Miner. Team Red Miner is phenomenal. They've released some um, releases recently that make them super efficient and give you a few extra mega hash. But the same process applies. It's pretty much identical on the AMD side. So we're going to go ahead and go out to T Rex Miner. I'm going to put a link to everything we talk about in this video down in the description. This is github.com slash T Rex Miner slash T Rex slash releases. So this goes ahead and gives us all the details. So once you go ahead and come in here, here, we're going to go ahead and download uh, T-Rex Miner. 11.1 .1 is available. It actually came out not too long ago. Um, so we're going to go, oh, I'm sorry, it's 19.11. The uh, file here at the end is 11.1. .1. So as you can see, 19.11 came out 10 days ago. So we're going to go ahead and download this. So go ahead and click here and it's going to go ahead and download the zip file. It's not big or 22.9 megabytes. So then we're going to go ahead and uh, locate this. So we're going to go ahead and show in folder. This is in our download folder. So we're going to go ahead and extract it. We've gone ahead and extracted this. We're done and good to go. Once this is finished, uh, the pretty much you're less than a few minutes away here. So our next thing to do is to go ahead and look at what we can mine with this. So we have a few different options. Um, you have some of the bigger ones, Ethereum in here, Ravencoin in here. So for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and select Ethereum. Now, there's a handful of different pools that are in here. I like to use two miner. I recommend two miner. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link down below to check out the different pools. It really comes down to what your latency is and your difficulty. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to go ahead and look at two miner. Uh, the website that I use um, that I can go ahead. Let me go ahead and bring this up and I'll shoot it down a screen here. Um, for you guys to go ahead and see uh, this is mining pool stats dot stream. Um, so if I come down here and take a look for our mining pool, let's go ahead and take a look. So mining pool stats dot stream. Uh, once you come in here, you can go ahead and select Ethereum 
and then it's going to show you all the different pools that are available. So as you can see, there's a ton of different pools that you can see. Some of these pools are better than others. It shows you what country they're directly coming from. Um, but for all intents and purposes, I've really used and had good success with uh, two miners. But as you can see up above here, you know, the the hash rate is higher up here on Spark Pool. But for right now, we're just going to check out two miners. So going ahead, clicking on two miners, we can go ahead and see everything set up here. So we're going to circle back to this page in just a minute. That being said, we're currently at three minutes and 53 seconds into this video. We're moving along pretty good right now guys so what we're going to do next is we're going to go uh, back over to our folder we were looking at all the different files so this is says ethereum dash two minor so we're going to go ahead and right click on this and go to edit uh, it's going to warn us about this file because it's a batch file we're going to click there and click run anyway um, is what we're going to do so now it's going to bring up what is exactly in the batch file T, so it's going to go ahead and run t-rex.exe. That's the actual algorithm. You can see the file is off to the side here. Um, our next step then is it's going to go ahead and it's telling us what algorithm it's running on. And then it has the address for 2Miner already put in here for us. Phenomenal. Saves us a ton of time. We do have some triggers in here. And here is where you're going to go ahead and put in your wallet ID. So what we're going to do is remember we went ahead and saved our wallet ID. Um, from Exodus, we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to come in here. We're going to replace this. Okay, paste. So we've replaced it. And then at the very end here, you can name your rig. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this worker three for all intents and purposes. We're going to leave the remaining triggers in place and you want to keep pause set up in there. I'm going to close out of the wallet address notepad file. We don't need that anymore. And within here, we're now going to go ahead and save. We made our changes. So T-Rex Miner is going to go ahead and it's going to pull from the two miner pool here. It's going to then finish the job and it's going to deliver the Ethereum that we do mine directly to the address here, which is our wallet. We're going to save that again, just like we did there. Now our next step is to go ahead and run that. So we're going to go ahead and find Ethereum two miners in here. We're going to right click on that. We're going to hit open. Now it's going to go ahead and come up with a command prompt and it's going to go ahead and kick off the process. We'll give this just a second here. And as you can see, it is off to the races. It has identified exactly what we have in our system right now. And it's going to go ahead and start mining Ethereum and it's going ahead and finding blocks already. Um, so we're going to go ahead. And now the question is like, okay, like wh what else is there? What else can we look at? You know, this isn't it. This is not the end all be all. So the nice thing is, is T-Rex Miner actually has a web GUI. So I'm going to put this link in chat, but if you go ahead and go to HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1, those of you guys that know this, this is your local DNS. So this is a website actually hosted on your computer now. Pretty cool, huh? And T-Rex Miner. So this page hasn't updated yet, um, but what you can do is you can click the little graph button and let's give this a minute here. And uh, so what I like to do is go ahead and bring up both. So as we can see here, we've started out mining um, and it's going ahead and, and getting started. You can see right now, um, it, it, right up. Okay, here's our first line. Okay, ready? Mining at Ethereum, two miners.com. GPU zero, it starts out at zero. And if you have two GPUs, the next one is number one. Uh, it then tells us we're running an EVGA RTX 2080 Super. It then tells us that we're running at 30 mega hash right now. Our video card is running at 59C. We're using 160 watts and our fans are at 41%. So that lets us know the details there, which is great, which is cool. So now your next question is, okay, how do I get paid? That's literally always the next question. So if we go back to um, the website that we were at right here, which is the mining pool stats .stream, we click on two miners, which is what we clicked on. We're now on their website here. So as you can see on the top right hand side, how to start is up there as well as payouts. So please read this and understand all the details here as to how this exactly works. You get paid out once, you know, it takes some time um, to actually um, start to do it. Each pool pays out differently based off of how often and how much they can't pay out every single second all day long. They wouldn't make any money, 
but this will go ahead and give you details. So now the next thing is, is we should, you really should let this run for about an hour. And then what you would do is come up here and you would paste in your address. So remember our address for our pool that we grabbed originally from Exodus here. If you copy that and go to the pool, we're on two minor site, put it in here and hit search. It's now going to go ahead. Now, granted, we, we haven't been mining long enough, so there's no data right now, but we need to go ahead. And uh, once this is done, this page is going to fully populate, tell you when you're going to be paid out, tell you your average, tell you how um, you know much you're actually making per day, per hour, per minute, You know those types of metrics that you're interested in. So if we go back uh, to our setup here, um and and see exactly what we're mining for t-rex miner as you can see we're slowly getting through there it's trying to find shares it's trying to find uh jobs here but this is pretty much all we need to do so now go ahead leave this up you got to leave this window up and let this sucker mine overnight and come in and come back here tomorrow morning and your next step should be to load up the pool and put in your address and see exactly what you're getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, refresh this and show you guys just before we go ahead and uh, end up this video. But if you guys did go ahead and enjoy this video, we're now just about at the 10 minute mark and we're, we're mining Ethereum guys. And that took all of no time at all. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, please go ahead and leave them down below. Most importantly, this is a brand new mining channel. This is a hobby for me. This is something fun to do off to the side. I, I'm, I'm not doing this to make money. I'm doing this for fun. Um, but please go ahead and drop that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Now, we aren't overclocking yet. We have the ability to overclock our graphics card if interested in order to get a higher uh, mega hash option. I have decided not to do that because I game on this sucker. So I just want to play it safe. That being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was informational to you and educational to you and helped you out in mining Ethereum in under 10 minutes on Windows 10. Until next time, have a good one.